being here, man. Holidays, weekends, trying to take over. Honestly, I mean, they're one of the best fans in DMV. Years old, starting a new decade. I must continue to stay in the best shape of my life. I'm gonna keep motivating. I'm gonna keep this shit going, man. Let's get it. with a new places out of the country. Um, it really changed my perspective. Uh, I ma it made me realize how blessed I am to be able to travel and how fortunate I am. These nice countries we visit, they're not as fortunate as us. So it just changed my whole perspective. It made me work a little hard and made me be a little thankful. And then traveling, you know, I moved to LA in my 20s. And that really changed my perspective as well. Networking, entering new circles, um, just seeing how people live that are at that next level I want to get to. So I'm thankful for that. And then I established some relationships, some lifelong relationships, lifelong connections that really helped me with my business. And um, probably the hardest thing in my 20s was probably making it through the pandemic. Living in LA. Um, you know, I talk about it on my page before, but if it's your first time watching, you know, gyms were shut down for a full calendar year in LA. And I had just moved out there, so every client I got, I lost them. You know, so I had I picked up a few more clients throughout the pandemic. I had to DoorDash to pay the bills. But when I tell you that humbled me, but I'm thankful for it. It made me work harder, really changed my mindset. It just made me realize I could make it to anything. So maybe a dog, maybe a beast. Like I see me beast mode. That's why I'll be listening to y'all excuses. I ain't got time for that, man. If you want to get it done, you can get it done. Stop listening to people trying to keep you in the same spot. Don't listen to that fat phobia bullshit, body positivity. Don't listen to none of that. Whatever you try to do, get that shit done, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it real and I'm going to hit you with the facts. I'm going to tell you why that's bullshit. Let's get back to work. One thing I learned in my 20s is that consistency has a compound interest. You stay consistent, it's going to keep adding up. You stay consistent, you're going to drop that belly fat. You stay consistent, you're going to stack that money. Stay consistent, relationships gonna get better. So that's my thing. My 30s be way more consistent than my 20s, man. Let's get it. I'm gonna keep talking my shit. I don't care the haters y'all keep commenting on my posts. Keep talking that talk, man. That's what I do. Let's get it. Another thing I learned in my 20s is that I don't have time. Straight bullshit. That excuse is straight bullshit. You got 24 hours in a day, you make time for whatever. Because think about it, bro. You got time for all the bullshit. You got time to drink, turn up, go to Shorty House, go to Old Boy House, go on a trip, watch Netflix. Go get some ice cream, eat some fat shit. You got time for all that. You got time to get in here and get the jet. It was a, that was kind of fact. It was a, one of my old clients. She left me. She don't train with me no more. She told me she don't got time to get in the gym because she's a mom. 
I get on Twitter, she talking about, oh yeah, I'm about to watch all these Netflix shows this weekend. Fuck out of here with that. Come on, man. You watching all the new Netflix movies, but you ain't got time. You can't get in here for 45 minutes to an hour. And then you watching the, you watching the Netflix fight. She drinking wine. She probably got the girls over there for the wine night. She probably eating some bullshit. Some bullshit snacks. You got time for that? But you ain't got time to get rid of the fact? Yeah. Honestly, I mean, they're one of the best friends in DMV.